But uh, yeah, no, it, it is remarkable that this is, they, they jump, they pounce right now because it is a wildly unpopular issue. I don't know if you saw the Young Turks. I thought it was hysterical that they put out, do you support an assault weapons ban? And 83% of their audience said no. <laughs> um, it, this is their chance. They, they have to politicize it. And we were just talking about this earlier. Listen, everyone has a right to speak. Doesn't necessarily mean you have a right to be heard by everybody, but uh, it also just shouldn't determine policy. I don't know how that's controversial. You don't care about kids? No, it's not that I don't care about kids. I don't trust them on a lot of things. Certainly not when it comes to determining my rights. Learn how to make chocolate milk yesterday. You think they're informing policy today? I don't think so. No, I don't think so. Um, so Stefan, though, the question to you is, why don't you care about children? <laughs> well, this comes down to this question of root causes. And I always find that the left loves to play whack-a-mole with effects, which ends up with your rights being whacked away. Right. And they refuse to deal with root causes because a lot of times the root causes are people who vote for the left. So what are some of the root causes around uh, school shootings? Well, one thing that's in common um, of the entire list, I think it was 26 people that CNN put out of school shooters, all that only one of those 26 school shooters had been raised from birth by his biological father. Ooh, Maybe we found something that might be a bit of a clue, which right. is fatherlessness. Maybe a lot of these kids, of course, are on these uh, psychotropics, as SSRIs, these mind-altering substances, which have labels about how dangerous they can be in terms of suicidality, homicidality, uncontrollable rage, and so on. We've got uh, these kinds of issues. And we've got alienation within neighborhoods, neighborhoods fragmenting to some degree due to diversity, a loss of neighborhood trust, a loss of community trust. The schools are getting worse uh, and worse. And bullying is a big, huge problem in schools that administrators rarely ever deal with effectively. You've got families fragmenting uh, all over the place. You've got a sense of nihilism because p kids know how much they're being born into, like $100,000 worth of debt uh, just to be born, $1.7 million worth of unfunded liabilities. There's a lot of root causes and root problems to do with this, but the left doesn't want to deal with that right? because the left wants to fragment the family, so they don't ever want to point out to the negative effects of fragmenting the family. The left loves single moms because single moms vote for the left. They vote for big government because they're not out there in the marketplace for the most part. They're sucking up government goodies. Yeah. So the left doesn't want to alienate their base, but unfortunately, it's a lot of their base that's contributing to this stuff. So then they make it a right wing issue to take away guns because they don't want to deal with the root causes they've supported for the last 50 years. And I think, listen, we do have to get going here, but I think you boiled it down. That root cause, the main cause before anything else, like you said, aside from one is fatherlessness. And that's where you can get to correlation causation. People go, well, they're on these antidepressants. These yeah. Well, a lot of them are because they're mentally disturbed because they weren't raised with a father. So before you get to the down the trail. Boom. Like you said, from birth, no dad. We've talked about that. It determines whether you're likely to graduate from high school, go to college, have a successful marriage, have successful relationships, have healthy relationships, go to college, end up in prison. All of these things is daddy in the home 